Welcome, I am John Lira. So you're excited to start your e-learning course. You can't wait. You've been planning for this, waiting for this. You feel you're ready, so you sit in front of your computer or mobile device and start up your class. But are you really ready? As a professional content developer, a technical trainer of many years, and a student all my life, over hundreds of courses online, virtual, self-paced, etc., I want to share from my experience one tip of how you can become a successful e-learning student. You've done all the prep work, all the technical and network issues have been taken care of, you know the course content and objectives, you know the course re requirements, so you're ready to start. And so as soon as you start your course, something happens. Your mind starts jumping around, doing whatever comes to mind. You want to focus on your course, but you got to check your emails. Oops, I got to look at my social media. I got to surf anything and whatever that comes to mind. Oh, and don't forget, I need coffee or perhaps a snack. Oh, and I just got to open that package that arrived. Oh, and my little dog wants to go for a walk. But maybe something has happened in the last five minutes, so let me turn the TV on and watch the news to make sure everything is safe. So you do everything but pay attention to your course. What could be the problem? What could be happening? It's the curse of the monkey mind. You become frustrated. You start getting upset at yourself for being unfocused, or you start blaming the instructor or the course, and you start pausing and rewinding because you miss that self-paced slide and you want to go back to it. Again, it could be that it's the curse of the monkey mind. What is the monkey mind? Well, the monkey mind is all those random thoughts, all those urgent needs that drag your mind everywhere. And it is even worse when you have a boring course. So what can you do? Well, here is my tip. Now, this tip I've been using for about two years and I didn't know it was gonna it was gonna lead to this but it is it's quite powerful it is the way to handle the mi monkey mind here is my tip for you to become a successful e-learner first the secret is reading is really your breathing focus on your breathing inhaling in and exhaling out you do it slowly and then alongside that you do what I call is a body scan stay in tune with what you're feeling physically as you're as your mind goes through your body. So you touch your toes, mentally of course, you feel your ankles, your legs, your thighs, your torso, your lungs, your shoulders, your neck, your ears, the front, the top of your head. So you're just going through all your body parts and, and mentally walking through them and asking yourself, how am I feeling? What's going on? Then again, while you're breathing, inhaling, and exhaling, you do what I call an action scan. Again, this is all mentally. You're going through all those activities in your mind, all those things that cross your mind. For example, the emails, I gotta walk the dogs, do I have a dinner date, what am I gonna do for dinner, who's gonna take care of the kids, etc. So you acknowledge all these sensations, all these mental activities. You don't try to stop them, but you don't cling to them either. You just let them come and you let them go. You're breathing in and out and if for some reason something is so important that you just can't let go of it, get a pencil and paper and write it down but the goal is don't let it control you. Just let it come and let it go and write it down if you feel you're gonna forget something very important. Now what I've described is, I'm, is mindfulness. A very powerful technique and powerful area of study if you want to pursue this. It's the art of mind, mindfulness and I'm just summarizing it as applied to an e-learner. When you practice mindfulness you realize that the quality of your breath is the quality of your life. Now some people ask well how long should I do this? How long should I do this inhaling and exhaling breathing scanning exercises? Well as I said earlier the key point is your breathing and you could take 30 minutes for each of the two exercises, the body scan and the action scan. But I'm recommending that you take anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds 
for each one just as a practice. As your practice improves and as you realize that this helps you in your e-learning course, perhaps you want to make it make it 60 seconds. I think a good balance time is about six minutes for each exercise. Now what I've done here is put this into an exercise format. Now stay in touch with me because I plan to develop this further into just an exercise on inhaling, exhaling, and going through this. This is just a, a summary of it. And this is just another way of looking at mindfulness practice and harnessing, acknowledging the monkey mind. Try this yourself, not just before course, but during a break or when you have low energy or you feel too hyper or you have a very boring class. The secret is your breathing, inhaling and exhaling and applying this as you do the body scan and the action scan as described earlier. So here's a nice way of looking at it. And in summary, I want to thank you. And I do plan to produce a short video that expands on this topic. Feel free to contact me, John Lira, at datayoutrust.com or email me or follow my blog at learningdatahub.wordpress.com. Thank you very much.